everybody, Laura here. So glad you're joining me today. I've got a really cute, a really smiley, happy project to share with you. It's featuring the Baby Zoo Animals by Alta New. I've got the stamps and dies. Now here I want to talk about the inks. I printed off the Alta New ink chart. You can download this off of the Alta New website and this really helps you to see how all the colors relate to one another. The light tones, the medium tones, the dark tones. It's a great resource that I grab time and time again. Okay, so we're going to start with the giraffe. I'm going to multi-ink my images. So I started with soft lilac. And I'm making my giraffe purple, by the way. I didn't want to make it realistic. I wanted to make it happy, happy, because this card's all about smiling. And um, okay, so I did soft lilac, which is the lightest of the purples, then lavender fields, and then midnight violet for the darkest. And now this is what's great. Using the misty allows you to stamp it several times until you get the look that you want, until you're happy with the darkness or the blend or the gradient. Now I'm going in with that detailed image of the giraffe, stamping that with the darkest, the midnight violet, and that gives you that great detail of the giraffe. Now we're moving on to the elephant. These are some of my favorite colors. That light one is the mountain mist and volcano lake, and the dark color is lagoon, and these are gorgeous. I wanna say that when I first stamped my elephant for the first time, it was super splotchy. And a lot of people blame that on the inks. It's not the ink's fault, it's the stamp's fault. New stamps need to be very well seasoned or worked in or loved or however you want to call it. You got to stamp them and stamp them and stamp them and just keep on stamping them. The more you use them, the better they get. They're like a fine wine. They get better with age. Although I don't really like wine. I don't like wine and I don't like coffee. I know there's something wrong with me and I'm missing out on a ton of things, but I do like chocolate and I do like french fries. So that kind of makes up for it, right? So I can, now I'm di um, moving on to the third animal in the stamp set. I kind of wish this stamp set had like a dozen animals because I think this is so fun. But there's only three and you bet your bottom dollar that I used all three of them. So we got the, um, I don't know if this is a lion or a tiger. I'm thinking it's a lion. Well, I guess it's a baby, right? These are baby zoo animals. So uh, for this one, I got buttercream. That's the lightest of the yellow, warm sunshine. And then the darkest tone is caramel toffee. I do like caramel and toffee too. I'll just say that. And uh, I just keep stamping these two to three to four times till I'm happy. And then I've got the coordinating dies. And I'm gonna die cut these all out. And then we'll move on to the sentiment. Now for the sentiment, I use the stamp set, the half tone happy. And I am gonna pull out some pinks for this. So I inked it up with the frosty pink. That's the lightest of the pink. And then for uh, the bottom, a little coral berry. And then I always go back in with the light one and try to like dab it, try to even it out or smooth it out. It's kind of like what you do with Copic markers. You start with the light and then you bring in the dark and you try to blend it. That's what I do with my ink pads. And I know some people might be concerned about contaminating your ink pads, but I will tell you this from my experience, I haven't had any trouble and I will say I'd rather have my gradient beautifully inked up images than pristine ink pads any day. And uh, But my ink pads have survived and they seem to be working just fine. Now, for the background, I've got a piece of Distress Watercolor cardstock. I'm just doing a little subtle ink blending along the bottom. This is uh, Mustard Seed. I also added a little Spice Marmalade, so you've got that orangey yellow glowy happy little background going on here and because i couldn't resist i can never resist the flicking of the water yes it's my latest obsession that's why i use the watercolor cardstock and the distress ink for the background because i knew i would get that reaction with the wa water flicks and then i'll just sop up the excess water with my paper towel and we'll move on to the sentiment this is a coordinating sentiment from the half tone smile stamp set and i had this lined up this is sending you a and then i'll pop up my smile uh die cut sentiment right underneath it and so i've got foam tape on the back of all my little die cut images so all there's left to do really is just adhere this whole thing together um i want to talk a minute i know people are going to ask about my ring i don't know if i've worn this in a card video but it's several years old my husband gave it to me for our anniversary one year. It's Silpata. I don't know if you've ever heard of Silpata. I don't even think they're in business anymore, but it was a home party. I had a girlfriend who used to sell Silpata as jewelry. It's kind of like Tupperware or Pampered Chef or Stampin' Up. You know, you go to the home and have a party and this is all jewelry. I love jewelry, but I especially love rings. So he got me this and I fell in love with it. Now this card's finished. I'm blabbing away about my ring, but I added a few sequins just for a little something something. 
And doesn't this card make you smile? I love these adorable animals and I love the Alta New ink colors. Go download that ink chart. It's free. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.